We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. We gather in the Lord's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we enter into this celebration, we take a moment and we ask for God's love and mercy to touch our hearts and to heal us of our sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us lift our voices and give glory and praise to God.
and let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. Paul and Barnabas continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and took their seats. Many Jews and worshipers who were converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to remain faithful to the grace of God. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, it was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light to the Gentiles that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of God continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. Then one of the elders said to me, these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they stand before God's throne and worship him day and night in his temple. The one who sits on the throne will shelter them. They will not hunger or thirst anymore, nor will the sun or any heat strike them. For the lamb who is the center of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to springs of life-giving water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are very familiar with this image of the Good Shepherd. In fact, it's one of my favorite images. And there are two points that I really want to make this Sunday about that wonderful shepherd. Number one, he loves all of us. He's watching over each and every one of us, guarding and guiding us. We need to know his voice. That's the number one thing that I'm going to point out to you. And to hear his voice means that we have to entune our ears to that. And so often in our world, we fill our world with a lot of white noise. And you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes we turn on the television or we have the radio going or we're playing some music. Folks, I'm going to invite you this Sunday. I'm going to challenge you this wonderful Easter Sunday. Turn it off. If you're going to hear the Lord's voice, you need to create an environment in which you're going to listen to the Lord's voice. And too often we fill it with white noise. I sometimes think we're afraid to hear the Lord's voice. He may be calling us to something that we may not know, want, or desire. But the Lord always calls us to something deeper and greater than who we are. And that's where the challenge comes in. But we have to create that environment. In my home, I have a sunroom. And that's where I usually go every morning for about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, of just sitting and listening. And the Lord speaks to the heart. But you have to create an environment and you have to entune your ears to listen to that. So I'm going to challenge us. Find a place in your home. Find a time in which we can focus ourselves and quiet ourselves and allow the Lord to speak. That's number one. Number two, we need to trust the Lord. That's a big one. That's a difficult one to trust the Lord because we like to do it our way. Usually when we pray, we like to couch it, Lord, if you would, uh, no. When we pray, Lord, your will be done. Your will be done. I want that to be your mantra. Your will be done. When you sit and listen, your will be done. If you're praying for someone who's ill, your will be done. If you're praying for a change or something that's going on in your life, your will be done. And trust. Too often when we pray, it's almost like McDonald's. We drive up and we want it right now. You know what? St. Monica prayed and prayed and prayed for her son, Augustine, for years, so we have to allow the prayer to be the Lord's prayer in our life and to surrender ourselves to the Lord's will. Not how we want it done, how the Lord wants it done. In order to do that, we have to listen and we have to trust. And believe me, trusting is the tough part. Even I struggle with that. I always want to take it back. Okay, I'll do it this way. No, your will be done. So our challenge today on this wonderful Sunday is as the Lord, our good shepherd, will guide us, we need to listen and trust. Let us stand and let us pray our creed. I believe in God, the Father Amen. Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, 
and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we bring our prayers to the Lord, and we ask the Lord to hear us. For the church, that we may be a light in the darkness and an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those called to the priesthood or religious life, may they be good shepherds in the flock they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have wandered from the flock, that they may ever be receptive to the voice of the good shepherd calling them back. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, and all those who model the role of mother in our lives, that they may be always blessed in the love of their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, that they will know the healing power of the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they will rejoice in the eternal green pastures of the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Washington and Missouri. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, help us to entune our ears to your voice as we lift these prayers this Sunday and always. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my offering and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you, Lord Jesus. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples and he said, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with all of our presiding bishops and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. And so we gather our hearts 
as we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to all of your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. So let us turn to one another and offer each other a sign of peace, and peace to all of our viewers. Thank you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep that you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And this is Mother's Day weekend, so I want to extend a wonderful blessing upon all of our mothers, grandmothers, 
godmothers, all of the mothers that are very precious to us, may Almighty God watch over them and bless them. And through the Blessed Mother, may she be always your example in following Jesus. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great weekend, everybody. You Thank too, Father. Peace and love. offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.